This channel is produced by Japanese chef Takasan, using a different approach compared to other culinary videos. It is to create a Japanese cuisine communities for the viewers to participate in. The contents and dishes are based on requests received from viewers and friends, a program created by the viewers for the viewers. It is our desire to solve questions and problems regarding Japanese cuisine through this Japanese cuisine community. Hello everyone! Today we will be making kombujime with sea bream. Keep watching to learn how to use this Japanese brining technique. We will be making an irizake sauce, a dashi and plum flavored sake, to eat with our brined fish first. You can also eat it with ponzu sauce or soy sauce, but irizake takes the flavor to an entirely different level. The irizake needs to rest before it's ready for use, so we recommend making it the day before. Add all of the ingredients to a pot and bring to a boil. Simmer for 2-3 to three minutes over a low flame. After you're done cooking, Turn off the heat and allow to rest at room temperature for at least 12 hours. Leave the ingredients inside. Once the mixture has rested long enough, line a strainer with parchment paper and filter out the solids. The remaining liquid is our irizake sauce. Next, we'll move on to the kombujime process. Lightly salt the sea bream filet and rest in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. This step is called hitoshio, and it helps dry out the natural umami of the fish while removing some of the fishy odor. While the fish is resting, dampen a paper towel with vinegar and wipe both sides of the kombu sheets. Now, wrap the filet with the kombu sheets and wrap the bundle in plastic wrap. Place something heavy on top and brine for 2-3 to three hours.
After brining, remove the fillet from the kombu and cut it into slices against the grain. We recommend plating it with some vegetables. Eating them together is delicious. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel.